Hello everyone, uh, this is another Life of Wan update. Now this is super casual, just because I haven't done a really casual video in a while. That's not true, I did like a Q&A already, but I just wanted to do like a work in progress because usually I show you the finished product, but of course a lot of the things in my life come with a process. And this is the same thing that we are looking at here. To me, this is a mess, okay? I still have a lot of things that I want to fix. But if you're wondering where I am, I'm currently situated in my old closet of my first room. Now this has completely been transformed. Um, remember I had a clo these closets here, but I've kind of made it like a little, because this room is supposed to be the studio, I've made this room into like a prop slash R&D room kind of thing. I've purchased these drawers from Furniture Source and I have four of them right here. I actually was planning on painting it the same color as the shelves, but like you can't just use wall paint for this. I need to find shellac paint for these drawers or else I might ruin it with regular paint. Oh, there we have Manto. Sit. Anyways, on this side, I have all the everyday products with me. And it's starting from the very first. We have our planners here, these ones. This one even says by Penelope Pop, and they don't say that anymore because, you know, we've expanded and it's not just designed by me anymore. But the original content about like the budgeting layout and all of that was something that I conceptualized. But, you know, we have a lot more people contributing to it, and it is the everyday and done with the everyday team. Then all over here, we have all the planners planners in different coolers and all the different ones that we've had so far. And this is all our poof products over here. This is everything that we've done, even our trio. This one went out super quick. This was, and then this was our PR kits for the everyday, the poof, it's cute. Okay, so what I wanted to do is take you through the process of how I'm organizing it. It's like really messy. I also have our newest product over here stacked on top. And then along with the bags, our everyday all-in-one bags. And um, I, I keep two of each as I've mentioned and it is not efficient of space. If I put each box here, it doesn't even fit properly. I can't store enough. This is also where I keep PR packages. So, and old stuff I've done. So this shelf over here is all the different collaborations I've done in the past. My most memorable one was the very first, like, I guess, big project that I did. This, these are big, cause these are for knit and they were socks that I collaborated with Knit Philippines and they make really comfortable socks and I did a bunch of designs for them. And um, sadly, I only bought one of each, but you know, if I keep them in good condition, then I shouldn't be a problem. The reason why I keep two is just in case something happens to one, at least I have. Then of course I have Jamie's best friend here it was a collaboration with my friend Powie. We made a children's book together. And then my collaboration with Wander Sky, which is a luggage cover. It's very cute. It's like a protective cover for it. I did like two designs for them. And then also my collaboration with Toblerone. I kept the covers. Obviously you can't keep the chocolate because it's gonna expire. So you can obviously put them around the Toblerones. And then I have these random stickers here that I used to collect with my mom. We used to go in Taiwan. There was a bookstore where they made like these little cute stickers. I used to collect stickers and they they had really nice intricate designs on them. I, I really enjoyed them. They, they're so detailed and cute and bought. Then this here over here is my drawer. This is where it gets really messy is where I put all the PR kits and maybe giftable items. Something that you need to know is that I don't take in all the PR that people ask like and message me about. In fact, I feel really bad because I'm not trying to sound like elitist or anything. It's just, I am very picky with what I take in only because I have to consider the fact that like, what am I gonna do with it after? Of course, I wanna buy new things for myself as well to try, but also would love to try the products that people send me. What I do usually is I look through the different brands that, you know, that send me invitations and then I look through their profiles. I look at their product. I do a little background about like a little, 
what they write up about for their product. And if it, it piques my interest, I'll be like, okay, send it over. And then usually I put it here. Uh, I have a lot that I plan on doing giveaways for, but sometimes it's good for like product shoots and stuff. So I leave some over here and this needs a little bit of organizing. A lot of people ask me, do you take in PR packages? It'd be great. I can't afford you. It's not that like I would gladly take in PR packages. I would love to try it. And I'm just, I just don't take in everything that everybody asks me just because I need to find a home for it. Okay, and um, this is the newest PR package that I received yesterday, which was from May Layug. It's her new brand, Get Ready With Me Cosmetics. And I have been messaging her personally back and forth, and she's been asking me about tips. And you know, she's one of the most, she was she's just so nice. And one of the people that's so approachable, she's so helpful and she, it never feels like it's competitive with her. And that's what I really appreciate about other people. One, two, three, four, five, six different milk tints. Um, yeah, and she spent a really long time developing this and I have known this and it's a lot of labor of love. So congratulations, May. I'm really happy for you. And then next we have some PR packages for our new product, which is our dinnerware line. And this is our collaboration with Made Nice for the PR kits. We, our plan and theme is around grocery carts. So, so this is our box. So this is our everyday living um, brand, which is connected to the everyday. We want to expand. You know, homeware is, is always something that I've been interested in organizing my in space and my environment, um, the things that I eat and the things that I own. And this is something that we created here at The Everyday. What you get is a little QR code that shows you our product line and a sticker. So they have like stickers for every single product so that you can collect it if you are an everyday fan. To protect our plates, we have a little cardboard thing. Then this is our color ice. Now you see three products here. We have our large plate, our big bowl. We have our mini mug. And then our small plate is actually hidden in here, this little compartment. For size reference, um, this is made of durable porcelain, easy to wash. And underneath here, our large bowl, which you can use as a serving platter. And that is it. This is our dinnerware product line. And everything you buy comes in a set and it starts out at 1795. You know, we want to make opening a box an experience as well. So this is our dinnerware line. So over here, I have purchased these shelves from Furniture Source. Uh, they are two and they're just aligned together and then I'm getting them to just cover this up a little bit so that it looks like one long shelf. A little like DIY over here, we do win. And then this is the same um, paint as the wall. And this is where I display all the little things that I collect, collectible items. This shelf is actually Pat's shelf. This is, um, you're like, who would be interested in this kind of, why would Winnie be interested in Final Fantasy? Well, that this is- This is child, this is man child. <laughs> no, that's not true. But I did get him some of the stuff on the shelf. So this is, I know most of these things. Yeah. Um, we have the Final Fantasy line, correct? Yeah. And um, I forgot, there's a guy with a big sword. Yeah. I forgot his name. Okay. okay. And then we have One Punch Man, which is a really good series. No, um, Saitama. Saitama? Yeah, yeah, Saitama. And then I just, I'm really bad with names, okay? The fact that I have to remember like 100 names a year, just an FYI. And then I have to like remember after every year. I get new students every semester and then I have to remember their names. But this year with Zoom, it's a little different because I can look at their names on the thing. So it helps a lot. Then we have from Attack on Titan, my favorite, Levi. Obviously, because Levi is like the strongest, the coolest, you know. <laughs> Who wouldn't like Levi? Maybe some people wouldn't because he's a little bit arrogant. Um, then we have Batman. This is what I purchased Pat like a long time ago for his birthday. And then this is our newest edition. Pat got this at Data Blitz because he was so excited. He was like, I got this at Data Blitz. I was like, not another thing. 
Just joking. This one is his favorite character from Monster Hunter World. Then of course we had Mario, Luigi, you know, that kind of stuff. Yeah, They're cute. Um, for some reason I forgot Yoshi and... Um, I forget. Oh my gosh. I remember, but I don't know. T? Uh, no, I don't remember. Tommy? What? Tommy. Tommy? Yeah, there. Really? No, it's Toad. <laughs> I was, yeah, I was like, what? Right. I knew it. It's just, this is my, my row. Uh, this is, you can see, I'm a huge fan of Cartoon Network shows. Rick and Mohanna Barbera, Rick and Morty, Adventure Time, Steven Universe. This is not Cartoon Network, but uh, why did I forget? Star vs. the Forces of Evil. Like I really appreciate very an the animation of it. Although it's like kiddie at times, I just really appreciate how they create those characters and how they look. But I really love Rick and Morty and I wanted to find these nice collectibles where I can showcase my appreciation, but not like in like a nice space where I can make sure that it stays in pristine condition. I am a freak like that. I'm a freak like that. Okay, and then over here, we have the Disney princesses. Anyways, I have um, these nice collectibles from Mondo. One of them is actually broken, which is really irritating. I woke up one day and it snapped off. I think it's quite delicate. Um, this is from Mondo. They're actually giving me a replacement, so thank you so much. But the arm came off and I feel like it's because it's just attached on like one small little thing here. Like how does it even manage to stay? Like look, it broke off. But this current situation works because it fits. Yeah. Okay, so this is the Rick and Morty um, figurines. And then of course I have my favorite Totoro. Totoro is one of my favorites from Studio Ghibli. But I love Ponyo, I, but Totoro is just super memorable and the cat bus as well. I have my American Girls, which Pat finds really creepy. Um, no, American Girls is like a classic. It's a staple. Okay, he finds it really creepy, but I've had them for a really long time. I've had Samantha since I was seven. That's, and then I have this little bottle I got from Disney when, the last time I went with Pat. Um, this is the 100 year anniversary of Disney land. So this is from, from the new Star Wars land and uh, we got a lightsaber customized. So if you can see. It's great, you know, or 90%, I would like to say. I'm giving myself too much credit. Uh, anyways, this is the R&D section because we have a lot of like old stuff that we have tried and tested before we made it into production. Like this was one of our third editions of the bag. The zipper we didn't like so much and the choice of color for the pull and the way the handle was made, it needed some improvement and then some inside stuff also. So we, I only kept the like big stages. We've made so many of these bags. This was actually the very first one. Um, I just didn't like the leather that they chose, um, but I keep it. Oh yeah, see it's loose now. And then we have a bunch of props here as well. So for example, if we do photo shoots, we have all these fabrics available and um, ready to use, but I still need to organize all of this because it's still not in the order that I appreciate it to be. But that is what I'm doing right now. I'm slowly organizing this space. If you have any suggestions of what I can do, um, usually this door is closed so that we can keep everything in a dehumidifier dehumidified room, a balanced temperature, that kind of thing. So that's it. If you were, if you stayed this long, um, thank you so much. But that is my little walkthrough of what I have been doing. And wait, one more thing. A lot of th people ask me like, do you clean your own room? I do 
I do have help that cleans the room daily, but a lot of the main organization where things are placed is all done by me. Just because I have a specific way of placing things and I just wanna make sure that it maintains in that shape. So a lot of the organization is done by me. A big shout out to Ruby, Francis, and Joseph, yeah. Yeah. Ruby, Francis, Joseph. Joseph did most of this. Yeah, they are very skilled individuals. That's it. So if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, let me know in the comment section down below. And please subscribe and like my channel to keep it growing, the family growing, family growing. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Toodaloo. Manto, closet hype, manto. <laughs> yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. He's like, I'm so bored. <laughs> I'm so bored. <laughs>